Ready. So I'm David Mykoff, and in Richard II, I play uh, the Earl of Ross and um, the Bishop of Carlisle. Richard II sets up the conflict that uh, runs throughout the rest of the English history plays and really gets going what's at the heart of that conflict, it seems to me, which is what are the consequences when powerful people betray the trust and loyalty they have to each other and to the people for whom they are responsible for governing. And in the case of uh, the English history and the English history plays, it's 30 some years of brutal, sporadic civil war. But the play doesn't treat these as a set of abstract issues, but as living personal relationships among uh, fully realized characters. Um, Richard, uh, a young king who came to the throne as a child, has developed uh, very exorbitant uh, tastes for his court style and is imbued in a number of expensive military conflicts as well. So he needs money and more money and more money and he obtains it by overtaxing the people and by squeezing the nobility in ways that violate traditional customs and unwritten rules for doing that. It all comes to a head when he exiles and then basically steals the property of his cousin, the Duke of Hereford and Lancaster, uh, when Lancaster's old father, John of Gaunt, dies. And eventually, the land becomes so restive that when the Duke of Hereford and Lancaster returns in order to recover, what's been taken from him, he gathers so much support that uh, it soon becomes a rebellion. And the upshot is that Richard is deposed and eventually murdered. That summary of the plot doesn't do justice to the characters and their relationships and to the stunning language of the play, a lot of which is Richard's. Richard missed his vocation as an actor and a poet, really. Um, it's a wonderful play.